Today, we will learn how to use the help, question mark, a propos, and example functions in RStudio. When you learn how to code in R, there will be many things that you do not know. To find an answer to these questions from within R, you can use the help, question mark, a propos, and example functions. From finding how to import and export data sets to finding examples of scatter plots, these four functions will help you find the answers to many of your questions. The first function that we will use is the help function. You can use the help function in help.start in parentheses. So let's type help.start parentheses. Now, once you have run the code, you will see that at the bottom right of your screen is the help menu. In the help menu, you can see that there are manuals, such as an introduction to R, which is over 14 chapters and contains a considerable amount of information about the program of R itself. Below manuals is reference. There are two links in reference, packages and search engines and keywords. Packages is an index of all the packages available in RStudio with helpful captions that concisely explain the package. For example, the ggplot2 package allows us to create elegant data visualizations using the grammar of graphics. Search engines and keywords allows you to find a search bar that will help you find helpful articles regarding your topic. For example, if you write box plot into the search bar and hit search, you will see multiple articles pertaining to box plots. Underneath reference is miscellaneous material, such as the authors, and frequently asked questions. Below miscellaneous materials is, for me, material specific to Windows port. This will be different if you are using a different operating system. The next function is the question mark function. The question mark is used to find more information about a function. For example, if we write question mark box plot and then run the code, you will see that an article regarding box plot appears in the bottom right corner of your screen with usage, arguments, details, and value. The next function we will learn about is the apropos function. The apropos function allows you to find any function that has the string within its name. For example, if you write apropos in parentheses and in quotation marks lm and run your code, you will see in your terminal all of the functions that have lm in their names. The last function we will discuss is the example function. The example function allows you to see examples of a function. If you type example in parentheses box plot and then run the code, you will see an example of a box plot. And if you run the function again, you will see a different example of a box plot. So, we now know how to use the help, question mark, a propos, and example functions in RStudio. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.